The code review process is outdated and lagging behind the rapid improvements in other areas of software development. Compare the process of reviewing code to the process of writing code. The former stagnates while the latter progresses at a lightning pace. Copilot, LLMs, chatbots, AI code editors, you name it. All these tools help you massively with writing code. They simplify the process of writing code and increase your efficiency and code quality. Yet, the code review process remained largely the same. You are most likely reviewing code manually, one line at a time. While this method is still necessary, it's extremely slow, time-consuming and error-prone. So, in this video, you'll learn why a change is greatly needed in this space and how you can improve the code review process. You'll see how code review tools like CodeRabbit transforms the code review process completely. Before going further, let's explore the biggest issues with traditional code reviews such as the time-consuming nature of manual reviews and the potential for human error. The code review is one of the slowest parts of software development and it can sometimes be a bottleneck that slows down the process of shipping code. The main reason why code review is so slow is that each team member needs to review the code line by line. The reviewer has to check for various aspects such as code correctness, does the code work as intended, then code readability, is the code understandable and comprehensible, does it include descriptive variable and function names, proper formatting, indentation and meaningful comments, then code performance, is the code efficient or is it just a brute force solution, then there is the code security, is the code secure enough to avoid potential vulnerabilities, then we have code scalability, will the new code handle increased workload without significant degradation in performance or functionality, all this process involves going over the code line by line and testing it multiple times. As a result, you spend significant time just reviewing a single pull request. Now multiply that with a couple of pull requests each week. The time you spend reviewing code can add up significantly, especially in larger teams or projects with frequent code changes. This affects not only individual team members like you, but the team as a whole resulting in less code shipped and slower progress overall. As you've seen, you need to consider many aspects when reviewing code, which leads us to the next problem. The next significant issue with manual code reviews is the potential for human error. Reviewing a pull request requires a great deal of mental energy. You must be fully focused to give proper, useful feedback and avoid overlooking potential issues. It's really easy to overlook small details or edge cases, especially when reviewing large and complex pull requests. What's worse, you can even miss the obvious ones due to various factors such as fatigue and tight deadlines, for instance. This can lead to significant problems down the line when the code is deployed. All of this contributes to the potential for human error when reviewing code and increases the likelihood of bugs slipping through. This can lead to costly issues that damage the product's reputation and deteriorate the user's trust in your product. While human error can be eliminated completely from the code review process, there are tools you can use to minimize its impact. Going further, you'll see how you can leverage AI to automate certain aspects of code reviews. AI tools help you streamline the code review process, improve code quality, speed up code reviews and minimize the number of issues that slip through. Thankfully, the code review space has started to evolve and catch up with the code writing space. AI-powered code review tools are now available, improving how we review code and addressing the limitations of traditional manual reviews. These tools leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze code changes, identify potential issues, and provide valuable insights such as summaries and repository stats. One such tool is called Rabbit, which is an AI-powered code reviewer that automatically reviews your pull request, 
provides context aware feedback and even suggests code changes. Let's look at what it can do and how it can make code reviews faster, more interactive and even more enjoyable for you. The first hurdle of code reviews is understanding the changes introduced by the pull request. You need to go over the changes, test them locally and figure out the full scope of the changes. This process can be time consuming since it usually requires multiple iterations before fully understanding the pull request. CodeRabbit eliminates this obstacle by providing comprehensive summaries of pull requests. Even better, it offers detailed world truths of the pull request by breaking down the changes introduced file by file or by directory. This feature enables you to understand the changes quickly, saving time that would otherwise be spent understanding the changes introduced by the pull request. Although manual review and testing are still necessary, the edit context streamlines the code review process, making it more efficient and faster. CodeRabbit also offers conversational capabilities, allowing you to chat with the code. You can interact with it by asking it to explain why it suggested specific changes, telling it to suggest other alternatives, and correcting it when it's wrong so it can learn and get better. Think of it as your experienced teammate with a huge amount of knowledge and unlimited availability. Chatting with the code makes the review process more engaging and enjoyable, in my opinion. Moreover, the tool learns from your interactions, continuously enhancing its performance over time. And the most important feature, CodeRabbit also provides incremental, in-depth code reviews. That means it reviews your code after each commit. We are prone to overlooking things and making mistakes as humans. So it never hurts to have a second pair of eyes looking over the code. And that's where CodeRabbit helps. It scans every line of code to identify potential issues, bugs, and vulnerabilities you might miss. The good thing is that it not only points out the issues, but it also provides explanations and actionable suggestions. As you can see, CodeRabbit detects the issue, explains it, and then suggests changes. You can even commit the proposed change by clicking the button in the Committable Suggestion section. This way, you are less likely to miss issues and bugs that might slip through into production. It's important to mention once again that AI tools like CodeRabbit don't replace traditional code reviews altogether. Instead, they augment them by providing assistance and automating certain tasks allowing you and other code reviewers to focus on higher level concerns and more complex issues. CodeRabbit can be considered a first line of defense, catching common mistakes, identifying potential bugs, and suggesting context-aware improvements. Combining CodeRabbit with your expertise improves the code review process by removing repetitive and time-consuming tasks freeing you to focus on the more important parts of the review. Personally, I've been using CodeRabbit at work for a few months now, around six months, and I'm more than happy with it. Code reviews are a lot faster and more enjoyable for me. I can understand other people's code faster since I have the whole picture before starting the reviews. Also, I can converse with the tool and ask it to explain parts of the code that I don't understand. This has made the code review process more interactive and engaging. So, CodeRabbit became an essential tool in my developer toolbox. It has transformed code reviews from a tedious task into a valuable learning experience. With that being said, CodeRabbit has a 7-day free trial for private repositories and it's free for open source projects. Lastly, I want to thank CodeRabbit for sponsoring my video. I really like their tool and I was super happy that I could collaborate with them. Give CodeRabbit a try and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next one.